Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode. We're getting ready for another surf fishing session. As you can see behind me, it's a negative tide. It's about uh, 6.30 in the morning. It's peak low tides. Um, it is better on the low. As you can see, there's just so much structure. So when it's a low tide, um, I like to get out on those rocks and uh, there's a couple of smaller drop-offs um, that hold fish. So um, it really depends on the time. We're gonna see how it goes today. Uh, we're going to start off right now looking for halibut and we're going to do that by throwing the Lucky Craft and uh, this is a really cool one. It's a brand new um, limited edition Lucky Craft 110. It's the MKB with a cherry berry on the bottom with a pink bottom. So it's kind of like a cherry berry and an MKB having a baby. But uh, we're going to try giving this a shot and we're going to be throwing it on the G Loomis E6X. Um, eight foot six and a Daiwa Saltist uh, 4000 and we're using straight braid, um, 30 pound straight braid. So um, we'll see how it goes today. Uh, hopefully we can get into some flat ones. I haven't targeted halibut in quite a while ever since the Corbina showed up. So hopefully we'll get into a nice little bite here. So we'll see what happens. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. Tide lines. As you can see, it's an extreme low tide. Uh, normally when it's even like at about a one foot, um, it, it's a little sketchy even getting out this far, but it's quite easy right now. And I probably have about an hour. The tide's going to be moving in pretty quick. Um, I love fishing in between these two rocks. Um, and usually it's a little bit higher, so I'll be standing further out, but I can get all the way out. Um, I'm going to try to target that rock right there. I'm going to try to wade out to that one. And there's a little bit of a ledge, a little bit more real estate to cast. Um, I'm not using a weighted Lucky Craft today just because there's so much structure. So I want to kind of keep it out and depth is not a problem here on the low so we're gonna be throwing this um, I've had some luck here in the past um, with halibut and bass so we'll see how it goes and so throwing the the lucky craft or any jerk bait in general you want to you want to use a nice steady retrieve um, the key is to get the action on this lure without overdoing the retrieval speed. Um, and it's just kind of trying to find that sweet spot where um, you're able to trigger a bite. Um, this 110 has a very tight left to right um, action on it. And uh, I love the action of the 110. It's part of why the 110 is such a popular um, size is uh, just the way it moves. You want to keep your line tight have as slow of a retrieve as possible um, while maintaining that action. So it's kind of a, it, it's the challenging part of it is the moving tide and the water's coming in, um, depending on how strong that is, you know, the incoming tide can be pushing this thing in, pushing your line in, making your line slack. So it's just being able to find that sweet spot where you're keeping your line tight on a slow of a retrieve as possible um, while maintaining that action. So if it's, you know, too slow, you know, it's just gonna submarine. It's just gonna go, you know, it's just gonna move without the action. If it's too fast, um, it might be too, it might be faster than what is needed to trigger that strike. So um, sometimes they want the faster retrieve. That's another trick too, is just being able to find that sweet spot of what the fish want. So right now I'm uh, retrieving with my rod tip pretty high. Um, I don't want my jerk bait getting too low. Um, I'm, when I do hit the rocks, I just want the bill to hit it and skip off. The slow roll is, especially if you're new to this lure, is definitely the way to go. It's probably the way it gets, you get the most bites, but um, you can also jerk that thing, jerk that rod, um, rod tip low or high to kind of have it dive down um, and knife in the water and have those erratic movements. And that can be extremely deadly too. So right now I'm not chucking it as far as I can because I do see some free and clear areas right in front of me. So I want to be able to make that cast without hitting too many of the rocks and be able to work my jerk bait within that window and try to trigger a strike assuming there's some fish holding right here. Oh, fish on guys. Yeah on the slow roll, picked him up, dope, Let's see what we got here, oh it's a leopard shark, holy cow, might be a snag job, 
Yeah, total snag job. Um, leopard shark. But it hit me right where I was expecting the fish to hold. I think he was coming up to swipe it, to be honest with you. So we're going to hurry up and try to get this guy back on the water. But anytime, actually, if you see the leopard shark, there is a good indication that there's other fish holding too. Try to get this guy out. Oh, I got that, got that hook out, but then I got another one stuck in it. Almost gone, buddy. So let that guy go. So not really going to count that as a, as a catch, but it shows you when I hit the right area, um, there's a good possibility of other species holding there too. Oh, fish on guys. Yes. What do we got again? Is it another leopard? Might be the same leopard. No, it's a bass. Super dope guys. Check it out. Um, dope. So yeah, there's, there's fish, fish in this water column, man. It's just a matter of getting your retrieve straight and, um, executing the cast. So, so small little sand bass, not close to legal, maybe about 10 inches. Um, but any bite is good on the jerk bait. So that was really cool. That, that was a legitimate hook job. He was clearly, uh, he was clearly trying to eat. All right, guy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Go on and get bigger, huh? So, yeah. So I moved over a little north. And the reason I did that is because there's hard rock structure along here. There's still structure in the middle right here. But there's some clear sandy areas and there's um, a little bit more leeway to be able to swim my lure through. So I slid over here to kind of cast at, a, at an angle and swimming it along the column here where there's a little bit more leeway to get proper action on my Lucky Craft. Um, the trick is to get that slow, steady retrieve to get to allow to hit that sweet spot to get the bite. And uh, the sand bass hit. So right along this column here, it's hard to go out and bring it in. There's rocks and then rocks. So you have such a short window. Um, if I can catch it parallel um, on the cast, it's a lot more real estate that I can work my lure through um, to get that bite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move further north to get even a better angle to make that parallel cast. So again, making a little bit of a parallel cast, trying to maximize the water column here the strike zone and the water is definitely getting higher here so my window for fishing in this area is getting shorter by the minute oh fish on oh it's a better fish guys Oh, dude. Oh, it's a good fish, guys. Oh, it's a big old leopard shark. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is a bigger leopard. And there's no way I'm gonna, if I land this guy, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get him. Wow. Let's see if I can get this guy home. No, it's a white sea bass, guys. It's a white sea bass. Oh, it's a white sea bass, guys. A good sized white sea bass. I thought it was a leopard shark. I don't think it's illegal, but um, it's in that close range. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's right here, but I'm gonna have to get, get back to shore. Okay. Oh my goodness. good size white sea bass. 
took a nice run. I thought it was a leopard shark. I think I got him hooked pretty good. Oh, look at that ghost, guys. Holy cow. White sea bass on the Lucky Craft 110, the MKB cherry something <laughs> um but wow check this out guys uh this is my fourth white sea bass that i've caught from the surf and uh, it was just trying to find the right water column um but we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a measure yeah he's pretty close to legal but he's short mouth closed set the zero and he's over 27 uh 27 and a half so 27 inch 27 and a half um, such a beautiful fish, slow rolling the Lucky Craft, um, right next to some structure, just about finding that sweet spot. Um, it's a little bit of a finesse job and so, so very grateful. So we're going to go ahead and let this guy go. Super stoked, man.